Salutations to thee, my Lord, Sadhguru. Everything that is new, it will lose its shine after a little bit. But we know, no? Everything, everything will shine. But the, the, that, that, you know, that, that Holy Spirit. No one can be tired of that. Because you cannot be separate from it anyway, but. Uh, for a little bit we have the sensation, but not like that. This is one thing that I think really marks the people who are aware, is that they are always fresh. The being is always fresh. It's not relying upon some data or memory for a sense of itself or nothing like that, nor about future or anything. And that's why there's a sense of emptiness, and emptiness is the greatest space, isn't it? Because it's immeasurable. Yesterday is measurable, tomorrow is measurable, but right now, now in the emptiness is immeasurable. And to meet a being that has this immeasurableness in them, this limitless sense or presence, nobody talks about it, nobody writes about it. It's unfamiliar in our kingdom. It seems like it's fantasy or imagination. Not even in concept people talk about it much less in actuality. And yet these things are for each and every one of you. Hmm? Because everyone who comes into this world comes with a mirror. But sometimes you don't know where your mirror is. You have to find your mirror. You know? hmm. we, we, we love this type of mirror, because it shows you only a reflection of our flesh and form. But there's a mirror that shows you your formlessness. Hmm? This mirror shows you your form, but there's a mirror that shows you your formlessness. Hmm. Hmm? Have you found it or not? <laughs> With farm and beyond farm. With farm, but beyond farm. And farms can change. But you cannot apply changefulness to the farmless. It just doesn't make sense. If you want to meet the eternal, the unchanging, you have to go beyond farm. If you find that the one who is receiving this advice, is it with form or without form? Eh? Is the one who receives this pointing or this advice with form or without form? And the answer will tell you how near God is and how distanceless God is. Reflect upon that, because in simple things like that, when it comes to a certain stage in our sadhana, in our awakening, simple things actually capture everything. I mean, the fishermen go out and they throw a big net over the sea and they capture many, many fishes. But is there a fisherman who will throw one hook and capture the whole universe? When you hear these things and they don't sound like foolishness to you, a simple thing, a simple thing expressed, you see, convey the very essence of God. Hmm? You cannot find anywhere in the world of forms that which will be eternally satisfying, because the world of forms is a world of changes. It's natural, that world of changes. 
You cannot find anything eternal in the world of changes, except change. But to find the unchanging, you must go to the formless. So again, the one who receives this advice must determine, is this one with form or without form? And if you determine whether it is without form or with form, it will tell you whether you are near to your answer or you are your answer. Hmm? I think this is good enough for the whole day. <laughs> hmm? If you really get it, it's good enough for one of God's days. You know what one of God's days is? Not the same like one of man's yeah. days. Yeah? Maybe a whole yuga will be satisfied with the answer like this. Is it? Now, who can be be speak to like that? Hmm? We cannot gather in the marketplace and speak to like that. Your mind and heart has to be prepared somehow to be receptive enough, to be open enough, to grasp the subtle the subtleties of such pointing. You see, because there's no distance inside the mirror, you know. Only apparent distance. And the mirror does not speak, it only reflects. The mirror is voiceless. Which is the mirror that can reflect the formless? Hmm? You see, the surface of this mirror is consciousness itself. You better drink these things deeply. Hmm? I gotta go. She's the one who grasps what I speak, and I come back. I want to see you. I want to see not your visibility, but your invisibility. Hmm? We are always showing only our visibility, but your invisibility is what is attractive. Who will recognize your invisibility? Okay, I'll leave you with that one. <laughs> so also, what I want to say, actually, I wanted to ask, you know. That uh, many people, when they, especially new people and so on, when they come, you know, and uh, everybody should be able to converse with them about a bit of this. But uh, and with heart and feeling also. Not just uh, dry words, you know. Dry words. There's no word for. There's no place for dry words in Sahaja. No? Sahaja means natural state, and there's nothing dry and dead about the natural state. But you are natural state. You are the natural state, and this is why, if you speak about time and past, you know, you, you embarrass yourself actually. Sometimes you shouldn't really require another member of Sangha to point it out to you. You embarrass because your word sounds like, well, I need to get this away, get this away. This is what I mean by freshness, it's freshness. Not saved up words, not saved up knowledge. That you are the knowledge now. And so when you look, you know, God should be in your very looking. You know? Not just in the objects you see, in the very looking. The Supreme cannot be found amongst the things that are visible. All things that are the manifest, the perishable, don't look for the eternal amongst the, the impermanent. You see? It is totally formless. How will you find the form, the formless? Well, if the one who is hearing this advice and this pointing must find out is this one point if this one formless or without form. 
if it is without farm, then you're right there, you've found your Lord. If it is with farm, then your search continues. Salutations to thee, my Lord, Sadhguru, to that divine grace embodied, to that omnipresence beyond compare, to that Shiva self, Sadhguru. Offer these salutations to that Satguru who is the core of myself, the embodiment of undisturbed peace without attributes, eternal purity. Oh, Mujiji, you save our lives. Christ's heart, Krishna's love, Shiva's wisdom, Sadguruji, you save our lives with the Christ's heart, Krishna's love, Shiva's wisdom. 